I'm making a gauntlet for my hand and starting to work out of the metal, but I started at first with a cardboard um, prototype, laying everything out um, on my hand and um, this fit pretty well and I'm putting it into the metal. This is actually just a soup can that I've flattened out. You can still see the ridges a little bit. Um, and I just have fastened these together. Got a little bit of mobility, but I need to make things glide a little bit better. So the hinge only flexes backwards, not forwards. So I'm gonna have to bend that down a little bit so that these parts can glide past each other. Some of these joints are slots rather than holes so that I can get some movement side to side um, and it just allows some more flexibility overall. Right now I'm just using 1032 bolts to put it together, but eventually I'll put it together with rivets a little bit more permanently. So it feels pretty good so far. Got some flexibility to it. I still can't bend down very much. I'll have to add some curvature to those. Um, the side to side, is there, although it needs some, needs to be a little bit more flexible than that. Looks like it's not quite straight to my uh, my knuckles. I'm not sure where the error is, um, but I might have to do something about that. I might have to make uh, this plate here again, make that longer. Making the cardboard model is really helpful because it's obviously a lot easier to make and remake when you make mistakes. Uh, but even still, you might end up with a few mistakes. It's, it is a little bit hard to tell exactly what's going on with the cardboard. I'm using the ball hitch and a plastic hammer just to um, round down um, that edge so that I can get the hand movement to be farther down. There's definitely a little bit of curvature to that now coming down. That should give me more movement on the wrist. I also curved this panel a little bit, but maybe too much because now that can split apart. I don't want that, um, but I am probably remaking this panel anyway to fix the alignment on the top so I can fix that problem and make this new panel. There is more downward movement, but I think I could still use some more. My hand can go all the way down to there, but the gauntlet only comes to here. And I might not go too much further. I think it's fine if I can't move my hand all the way down. There's a little bit of restriction, I can live with that. I'm also not sure how big of a problem this coming apart is because when it's actually on my hand, I can't really get it to come apart. I'm placing this piece with a cardboard piece I just cut out to so test and see if it fits better on my knuckles. And the hole punch is a lot easier than a drill. Well, I'm liking this shape a lot better. It's really nicely along the knuckles. And also there's a little bit of more of a cutout for my thumb. I'll be adding a thumb plate later, but um, it doesn't quite, doesn't cut into my thumb like the other one. In order to get more steel for these other pieces, I'm gonna cut out another can. And I'll trace off the template and cut it out. And I'll test the fit with the rest of it. I'm forming the knuckle plate to fit my knuckles. Um, it's coming along pretty well. I'm liking the curvature that I see there on the top. Probably the trickiest part is getting it to fit nicely with the rest of this. Well, the knuckle plate was definitely the hardest part all the way up until now, but really looks like a gauntlet um, with the addition of this. Now all that's left is the thumb piece and then a few finger plates. I'm gonna make it a mitten gauntlet so there won't be individual fingers on it. Uh, it'll all just move together. This is the first row of fingers and then I'm gonna to have to have another sort of knuckle plate right there. And then I'll have another set of fingers and I think that's probably where I'll finish it. Well, I must say that the addition of the finger plates adds a lot to the look of the glove. Um, right now, there's not really any movement in here pretty locked. I'm going to have to do a lot of work curving these back so that I can get a full um, full arc around there in the fingers, but it's looking pretty good. I did um, changing the design a little bit. Um, rather than having another finger plate and a knuckle plate and then another finger plate, I just went for this cascading finger plate design. Um, I think that in the end I'll get more flexibility. I think it'll look cleaner. Um, 
uh, yeah, I'll just try to keep working at it until I get a nice curve. This is what I'm thinking about for the thumb plate. None of these are attached yet, but it's just a three segment, pretty similar to what's going on here. There'll be a hinge. Um, it'll connect these two plates together. It kind of forms there around my thumb. And then two more segments that'll be able to flex uh, along with my thumb. The gauntlet is really taking shape now. The thumb plates uh, fit really well. It has as much flexibility as my own thumb has. I attached it here with a wire. A lot of times I see a hinge. I think this gives even more flexibility, uh, even if it's maybe not as strong. It's not a huge concern for me. Uh, but it really looks like a hand at this point. There's three major things left to do here. Um, first would be replace all of these screws with rivets. Um, the second would be, actually before I do that, I would need to give the fingers more flexibility, go back and change these plates so that they can bend more. And then the last thing, last thing I would need to do is add a glove, like a leather glove on the inside or something like that. Right now it's kind of dangly. It's not gonna stay on your hand like this. So I would um, attach it to a glove. So you put your hand in the glove um, and if this is attached to the glove, then as you move your hands, everything will move along with you um, and you won't have any dangling like, like that um, going on, especially with the thumb here. That wouldn't happen if you had a glove um, that went in here. This has been such a fun project and you don't even need that many materials um, to get started. Yeah, I just did soup cans like this, um, some hammers, drills, stuff like that. And um, I think the result, I'm very satisfied with it.